landlady and the French quite learns is not to hear, not to see, only to collect your money. As long as that happens, okay, I'm blind, I'm deaf, I'm dumb. But if that stops, I recover my hearing and also my sight and also the use of my voice. And if necessary, I use the telephone to call up the superintendent who happens to be an in-law of my sister. I had that argument over money last night. What argument? What money? He shouted so loud I had to shut the front window to keep the noise from going out on the streets. I didn't know mention of no Brazilian rubber plantation, but plenty of other things that were plainly referred to in that little midnight conversation. Lots for lotion. <laughs> Take the polish on it. Am I in my empty, am I? That's right on par with the Brazilian rubber plantation. Oh. Ta-da. You. So persecuting this woman. Second, Mr. Shakespeare enters the scene. I heard your demon howling in my sleep. Sleep? <laughs> Drunken stupor. Rest because of my illness. Have I no right? Illness? Thank <laughs> you. 
Come on. 